Ricochet also apparently is out of WWE. They shot an injury angle on Raw. And uh, this maniac dude, the injury angle involved Braun giving him the lawn dart into the side of the production truck. And and, and, a, and a power bomb through broken glass. That's, through, that's through the least of his problems. Do you remember when they did this to Ray? Yeah, of course. Everyone remembers Very, it's very actually, famous. It's, yeah, it's the, a very famous uh, thing that they just replayed on uh, on uh, the, the WCW thing on last Tuesday night. Well, when they did it to Ray, I mean, it was a very, very famous thing. But, you know, I went back and I rewatched all of those Nitros. And uh, what actually happened, I mean, people's memory... I mean, he just kind of threw him, and then, you know, Ray hit it with his head and fell down, landed on his feet, and took a bump and everything like that. And it was it was super safe and everything. But, you know, because of, you know, the circumstances you know, you know, and everything. You know, that, you know that Nash said that Ray wanted him to throw him through a window? And Nash said that that's probably not a good idea. So they, he just threw him against the uh, the side of the trailer instead of the window. Well, the point is it was a, it was a very safe bump when Ray took it. But my God, when Braun Breaker threw this guy into this production truck, Ricochet hit the side of the truck and took a fucking flat back bump on the cement. And yeah. he splatted on the cement so hard. And, like, dude, he's out of here. I mean, I could not believe he took that bump on the cement to write himself, like, literally out of this promotion and probably going somewhere else. I mean, yeah. well, you don't going... have to half-ass it, dude, but you don't have to kill yourself on your last night in. Right. I mean... It, it, he is going somewhere else. That I mean, was that's... brutal. Yeah, yeah. I think he's okay. I sure hope so, dude. I mean, yeah. he took the, the power slam off the, you know, the platform onto the, the uh, you know, the hood of the car and went through the glass and everything like that. And, you know, that's certainly not a fun bump at all, but I mean... no. Not at oh, all. I don't know, man. That that bump that he took when he fell on the cement. I thought he hit his back of his head on the cement. I thought he was dead. And I went back oh, and geez. watched it, and he actually didn't. But he splatted. I mean, he splatted on the cement from mm. quite a ways up, too. So, man, that's one way to go out. They stretchered him out. Samantha Urban got in with him. He gave the old thumbs up. They got rid of him. And then uh, Pat McAfee had to do the uh, ring announcing, which... That was amusing. It was just funny, because it was like... WWE doesn't have a second ring announcer on call. Like, there's no one else back there that could uh, have done this. They'd have had. You know, the thing that that's, that surprised me is, if I didn't know he was leaving and I saw that angle, I would I would not. Th the last thing I would think is he was leaving. I would think that it's an angle for this like big return. Him and Braun. Yeah, for him and Braun. I mean, especially when they had his fiance jump. You know, when they had Samantha jump into the ambulance. I mean, that's like classic pro wrestling angles to for a guy to be out for you know a couple of months and come back on a big pay-per-view months down the line you know well to be revenge. honest quite frankly until he signs i mean something can always happen something something can happen yeah, yeah. but i th he, and also he, he could sign for a few he, years and and uh come back i mean i don't think braun's going anywhere well yeah i mean but that's he's probably not if he's going somewhere i doubt it's for less than three years and uh, I don't know about picking up that angle in three years. I mean, it's anything's possible, um, you know. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, you know, like you can you can shoot an angle for like three four months down the road or even six months down the road. Um, but the idea of shooting an angle for three years, I don't know that that one's ever been done in wrestling before. Well, it was also interesting because not only did they do that, but later earlier on in the show. If you recall, before all of this went down with Ricochet, he'd had a match with Elia, and yeah, he talked about he talked about doing another match with Elia. And Elia beat him, and then uh, you know they talked about we're running back again someday. And on this show, on this well, I mean, show, he well, met backstage had... with Elia, and he was like, you know, you're going to beat Braun Breaker, and then you and me, we're going to do this again. So yeah, they well, teased another match on well, the last did... day in the promotion for him. They did, well, they did a second match already. They did the second match that, that Ricochet won by DQ. I know, but he was and, talking on this show about, oh, let's I know, do it again. A, about the third match. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I think that was to throw people off and to make people think that, that it really wasn't what they were doing. You know what I mean? Well, they, uh, they teased it. Ain't going to happen. Yeah, yeah. Also, apparently headed to WWE is Hikaleo, which I think everybody knew for like ever now that eventually he was going to be coming in. Yeah, I, I would I, I would say probably at least a couple of years ago, 
Um, probably, I can't say when he first started, but but once he got fairly good, it was one of those things where you know he was on WWE's radar at that point, and it was just a question of I think just getting him enough experience, and I think he's got it because you don't want to debut a guy like that before he's ready. It's it's never good to debut a guy before he's ready because people see him. You know what I mean? They see him when he's not good, and then it's kind of hard, hard to overcome it. Not impossible, but um, I mean, based on what I've seen, I think he's certainly good enough, and um, you know, he's got a lot. You know, they don't have any giants right now. I mean, if you really think about it, I mean, Braun Strowman is the the biggest guy, right? Um, and and he's Hikaleo's probably you know several inches taller. Well, Moss is still around. We just never see him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, he is. Yeah, he's the he biggest is employed. Rise. He is employed, but he hasn't been on TV in forever. No. So he'll probably be coming in, and obviously we'll need, uh, you know, we need people for uh, for Roman. So, you know, he's going to need his crew to go up against Solo and his crew at some point down the road. So Maybe maybe Solo, maybe he's in Roman's crew. Maybe he's in the other crew. Yeah. I mean, there's going to be, uh, you know, there's, there's room for a lot of Islanders uh, in, in that promotion right now because they're going to be taking up the big main event spots um, come WrestleMania and before, I think. These glasses are bad. Just a minute, I have to change glasses. Let's all change something. <laughs> I need to change so many things. These are new ones, too, but I can't see with them. <laughs> okay, here we go. He's gonna change the before. red, the red hat pin. He had to get a strike. It was a bowling tournament. You gave away a picnic table of all the prizes. A picnic table. <laughs> this is terrible today. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Corn buckle. Huh? What was it, Brian? I, what? What was that? <laughs> Come on, Brian. What's going on? Keep, keep going. On oh, lonely, lonesome highway. That's all I have for today. Okay. Well. Are you sure? Excellent <laughs> job, Granny. <laughs> Shut up, Brian. <laughs> I had a note down here for some stuff I was going to answer. Hello. <laughs> yes, he's all right over there. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.